Hey there, people. So the Steam Summer Sale 2020 and along with it, a new Steam Community Contributor Point System are here. I'll be covering the sale dates, the sale details, best deals on the biggest and most popular games. And I will also be including the new Steam Community Point System, Summer Road Trip Cards and Badges for the sale and beyond. I am not generally making personal game recommendations here. I'm just covering what's popular and the sales on popular games. I will be including timestamps and some links in the description. So first of all, about the sale, the Steam Summer Sale is one of the two biggest sales of the year with some of the biggest discounts that you can get on Steam. It starts today, Thursday, June 25th and ends on July 9th. That's the usual two weeks or 14 days for the Steam Sale. It starts and ends 10 a.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Eastern Time in North America or 6 p.m. GMT. So Steam will actually show you highlighted deals each day, but the actual deals will stay the same throughout the whole sale at this point. That's been the way for some time now. Uh, some daily deals and other specials may overlap, so always make sure to check the game page for any games you might be interested in. It is always better to just look up the games you're interested in and check your wish list if there's something you particularly want. Sale prices should mostly be up now, but it wouldn't hurt to check back in a day or two, uh, just in case sometimes things are slightly delayed. Uh, rather than a mini game or a meta game per se, this time around with uh, the 2020 summer sale, you can earn points to get items. This appears to be a new permanent addition to Steam with a number of new features. So yes, there are cards, rewards, and badges during this sale, but actually most of it's going to last beyond most of it, I say. So I will cover the new point system, the cards, and the badges after I first cover the summer sale deals. So let's get into the deals. Well, there are lots of big deals, including some of the biggest and most popular games uh, are the ones that I'll be covering ordered by percentage discount. You'll also notice at the top here, there is a road trip special offer. Effectively, it's a coupon for $5 US uh, for purchases over $25 US or the equivalent in your local currency. You can see my Canadian equivalent here. Um, so first of all, let's get into the deals though. So the Valve Complete Pack, often uh, on sale uh, during the Steam sales, is 87% off this time around. Most classic Valve games are 80% off this time around. That's actually not quite as much of a deal as some other times, but it's still very good if you, any, if you want any of those games. Um, Payday 2 actually has topped them this time around with a 90% off deal on Payday 2 or an 85% uh, deal on the Legacy Collection for Payday 2. Uh, NBA 2K20 is 85% off. Ark Survival Evolved is 80% off. Explorer Edition is 76% off. Explorer, or sorry, Europa Universalis 4 is 80% off. There are a bunch of games at 75% off, including Civ 6, Hearts of Iron 4, Euro Truck Simulator 2, Cities Skylines, Planet Coaster, Dark Souls 3, The Hunter Call of the Wild, Stellaris, which is an excellent game in my opinion, and Elite Dangerous, uh, which I hear is pretty good too. Uh, the Witcher 3 and Arma 3 are both 70% off. Titanfall 2 is now on Steam now that EA is back and Titanfall 2 Ultimate is 67% off. Uh, Total War Warhammer 2 and Don't Starve Together, Seven Days to Die and A Plague Tale are all 66% off. Uh, 67 on Titanfall might just be rounding. I've got Canadian uh, currency conversion here. So anyway, uh, Rainbow Six Siege itself is 60% off. The Deluxe Edition is 67. Gold and Ultimate Editions are 50% off for Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, Dead by Daylight, the base version and deluxe version are both 60% off. Most of the DLC is on for 50% off. Elder Scrolls Online, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, and uh, Conan Exiles are all 60% off. There are a lot of deals at 50% off. So uh, PUBG, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, GTA 5, uh, Football Manager 2020, Rust, Gary's Mod, Borderlands 3, Terraria, Doom Eternal, Black Desert Online, Tabletop Simulator, Final Fantasy 14 Online Complete Edition, eFootball, PES 2020, Full and Legend Edition, Divinity, Original Sin 2, No Man's Sky, and Fallout 76. Those are all 50% off. And of course, those are just the big ones. There's going to be tons of other deals. Uh, if you're interested in smaller games, make sure to look them up. 
Hunt Showdown is at 45% off. Destiny 2, Forsaken, and Shadowkeep are 40% off. The Upgrade Edition bundle is 33% off. Uh, Farming Simulator 2019 is um, actually along with Daisy and uh, Stardew Valley. Those are all 40% off. Got a little ahead of myself there. Um, Monster Hunter World is 33% off. The Iceborne uh, expansion there is 25% off. Space Hunters and Raft are 30% off. Half-Life Alex, Deep Rock Galactic, Age of Empires 2 Definitive, those are all 25% off. Red Dead Redemption 2 itself is 20% off, but the Special Edition is 33% off and Ultimate Edition is 40% off. So if you're interested in those, uh, it's actually a little bit better deal to go to for the uh, bigger versions than usual. So I will also be including a link to SteamDB uh, for game sale histories and so on in the description. So again, if there are any games that you're particularly interested in, uh, other than the ones I've listed, these are just big games. There are a lot of other games that are on sale. Uh, you can also check out on SteamDB, there's a sales tab to see and sort by percentage discounts. So you can look up individual games, see if they're at the lowest price ever, if that's what you really want, if you're only willing to, to buy them at the very lowest. You can also check out currency conversion and so on on SteamDB. But uh, let's get back to the sale because we want to talk also about the new point system, the cards for the sale, and the badges. So this point system that's now been added is basically a further Steam community experience overhaul. We've seen in some of the recent um, events some things like uh, animated stickers and emoticons and chat effects and that kind of thing added but they're kind of bringing it all together and expanding on it a little more uh, with this and making it more permanent so uh, this new point system that's available during this event is going to stay it's uh, it's actually more integrated with steam and it's permanent now apparently uh, it's not built this time around items that are temporary or unique to this sale you can get points uh, during the sale and I guess presumably beyond for buying things on Steam. In fact, they've actually gone back and awarded points for anything that you bought since the 2020 Lunar New Year event. So like prior sale markets, you may not get points by spending wallet money that's already in your account. Likely, as it's been for the other events, you must be uh, newly adding money to your Steam wallet or paying for games or items directly with new funds. Um, you can though now also get tipped points for your Steam community contributions and that's why I've called it kind of a Steam community thing here. Uh, so that includes reviews and uploaded content that you've put on Steam including screenshots, videos, guides, and workshop items. Uh, I do have some balance but that's actually from buying stuff. Nobody's tipped me yet. <laughs> but uh, you can also get badges for both tipping others with your points and for receiving tips uh, based on your contributions to Steam. So uh, basically they're trying to encourage people to make contributions to the Steam community through reviews and through content. Uh, and beyond all that, of course, again, you can also get points for buying things. Otherwise, you, uh, you use the points to buy items from the points shop. And this points shop, unlike previous sale events, appears to be permanent. The items available here uh, include previously existing emoticons and backgrounds for games, items that formerly were only available by crafting badges from the Steam trading cards or by buying them on the Steam market. You can now buy them with points. Uh, there are also new animated avatars, new uh, profile picture frames. There are uh, stickers, chat effects, backgrounds, and more. There's a whole bunch of new content as well. They've added more customization options when customizing your profile, including color themes. So I'll just uh, flip to mine because I made it blue. <laughs> so you can actually change the, the uh, color of your profile now. It's about time to update that background, I'd say, too. But um, so there's some new options there, and some of those are free, like the color themes for your profile. But, but, but. Here's the, the little caveat. Items that you buy using points from the shop are not marketable or tradable like they would be if you crafted them, um, if you crafted badges and got them that way. Uh, again, the, the Steam cards and crafting badges is not going away. You can still get things that way. That still works. Uh, but you can now also use points to buy them as well. 
so there's a lot of sections here and there's sections over on the left to view the different uh, things that are available and so on. So the points do not expire uh, and the market to redeem them will remain. The items that you buy with these points are permanent except for the summer golden profile, uh, which is specific. That's the one thing that's specific to the event here. You can get a summer golden profile, which lasts for only 30 days and also costs a lot of points. So unless you really want to show off, <laughs> that's the one thing. It's like 5,000 points too. So uh, anyway, during the sale though, you can also get a free random sticker each day of the sale. So you can see that here, it's uh, actually at the top of this page. And so let's see, let's see what I get here. I got steam sunglasses. Okay, and I can use that, it's a uh, emoticon apparently. That's nice. <laughs> so you can get one of these free each day of the sale. Uh, and again, you can get points for, for buying stuff. You can get tipped points. You can tip other people points if you don't want to use them for anything else. And uh, yeah, that's that's the new point system, basically. So the other thing, though, is the summer sale cards. So there is a Steam summer sale road trip badge. And uh, that shows up if you go in your badges section here. Unfortunately, this time around, there doesn't seem to be... Um, a system of getting free cards for performing tasks like in a lot of sales in the past. Usually you could go through your discovery queue and get three cards a day that way. Um, unfortunately, this time around, it looks like you either have to buy stuff on Steam or just buy them directly or trade for them or something. Uh, you don't get like free cards every day like before, apparently, unless I'm missing something. You must also, as always, have at least Steam level 5 to receive cards. Uh, by the way, the easiest option for getting some of your initial levels is the community badge. You can look into that. Uh, you can earn cards before you get to level 5 and receive them if you get there before the end of the sale. Uh, that's generally the case. Limited accounts must spend at least $5 on Steam to remove the limited status. That would be 5 US or whatever your local equivalent. Um, and each badge crafted during the sale should reward you with an additional card. That's always been the way as well. For every $10 US or equivalent spent during the sale, you should get another card. Uh, whether that's worth it to you, I mean, probably you're just going to get them if you're buying stuff anyway. Uh, I wouldn't be spending that kind of money just to get the cards personally, but that's up to you. Of course, you can also trade, buy, and sell the cards directly on the Steam market. Uh, keep in mind, though, that the sale cards expire on September 8th if they're not used before then. Uh, that is the expiry, expiration date that's showing up, uh, assuming... I'm, I'm using the American date format. Hopefully that's because uh, it's an Ameri American company. It's either that or it's August 9th. Uh, anyway, so all in all, though, there are, um, speaking of the points, the one thing I, I didn't mention here, there is actually a points badge here too. So you can get a badge for tipping people. You can get a badge for being tipped. Uh, those are, are single uh, level as far as I know. Um, there's also a points badge that you can buy with points and it can go up to level 20. Obviously that's going to, you know, cost you a lot of points, um, but that's another badge you can get. And then of course there's the cards badge as well. So the cards badge is the only one that uh, appears to be specific to the sale as in uh, will not still be available after um, the sale and the cards run out. Usually you can craft the sale badge uh, with the cards up until the date that the cards themselves run out. Um, but the sale badge is also the only one that appears to have an unlimited level. You can uh, generally the sale badges, you can level and level and level, uh, especially the cards badges. Whereas this one has a level limit of level 20 and those other ones based on tips. Um, I think they only have one level. I haven't actually got one yet. But uh, anyway, that's the, the summary of uh, both the sale and the new point system. So I hope you liked the video. Give it a like if you did. Uh, check out and subscribe to my second channel, Mass Description Gaming, if you are interested in just fun, time-wasting <laughs> videos of me playing games with my friends. Uh, but stick around here if you want game guides particularly for Terraria, but I do also do guides for other games occasionally. And uh, either way, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.